Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to another video. Today I believe is day 53 of quitting alcohol for 365 days. I'm home on my lunch break and this is my first lunch break that I've had at the new house and I've got to say it's only five minutes away from work rather than 10 or 12 so that's a bonus but I got just look it really hit me this morning it hit me this morning where I got up had an incredible there's no other word to describe it an incredible sleep had REM sleep for days woke up my body battery as far as my Garmin smartwatch is concerned was actually recharged for once and I feel like that's a subconscious thing that is sleeping without anxiety that's sleeping knowing that you've just achieved something really really special and moving into this house is a special achievement and for me to be able to appreciate it for me to be able to put the work in and you know make a plan and and go through the process and achieve it without needing to drink or smoke is just it just makes it that much that much better you know i know i'm talking about alcohol but as far as weed's concerned you know weed would reduce my lows but my highs it would reduce my highs as well i wouldn't feel anything i was numb i was pretty much numb and alcohol I would only feel high whilst drinking. Without alcohol, I was continually going through a detox. And so it was pretty much impossible for me to feel actual genuine joy. And I'll tell you what, I felt it. And I have felt it. And this morning I woke up, did my, exactly, did my exa exact same routine as normal, except I had three times the space to do it in. And it's just, ah, oh, it is just fantastic. An ensuite bathroom, a walk-in closet, we've got a kitchen that I can actually move around in, we've got three times the bench space, I mean just to have some goddamn bench space is fucking incredible. So I'm home, I've got 40 more minutes of lunch break to enjoy and I just had to, I had to whip out the camera because I've got an opportunity to, why not, why not? Uh, one thing I do want to discuss is that my colleague, I've mentioned him in previous videos, we've got to know each other over the last month, and he at the moment is getting a real hard time, a real hard time of it from the boss. Yes, he procrastinates. Yes, he drinks. Yes, he, had a, he, he has annoyed me at times, but the way that he's getting treated by the boss at the moment, we're a team of three, the boss is away on holiday, and he's copping a whole lot of shit. Now, initially, when that started happening a couple of days back, I all I all I really was was a, a, stout, a soundboard for him. All I, you know, I was just I was copying it too from him. I was basically just hearing it all day. But it's come to the point now where it's it's gotten. And I was always giving the boss the benefit of the doubt, and I was always trying to give him some constructive advice. But it's got to the point now where the shit that he's getting is so petty. It is so petty, and it's really questioning my respect for our boss. I'm not going to lie. Like to hear and see what he has had to deal with. I mean, his work performance, yeah, it might not be the best. Uh, it may need work, but that's what you do in management. You work with people. If you've only got two people in the, in the office, you don't want to alienate one of them. And he's feeling completely and utterly alienated at the moment. I feel for him. I don't know what's going to happen. I feel like either he's going to walk or she's going to just make it so unbearable for him that he's just going to have no choice but to work walk. So what that's going to mean for me, I don't know, but I'm going to be left in the office by myself and I, I don't want that to happen. I do not want that to happen. But, you know, the job might not be ideal, but I woke up this morning with just a sense of gratitude, sense of pride that we've achieved this finally. And, uh, my parting words to you now and my parting words to Miffy this morning was, geez, I thought life was good before. 
But now we've got some space. And it's just leveled up. Life has just leveled up for me. You know, for me to have gratitude, for me to really be living life happily, genuinely happily, living in such a small apartment. I mean, how do you think I'm feeling now? I'm just on top of the world. I'm buzzing. And I've got some cleaning to do after work, but I really want to get to the gym. And I didn't really negotiate that with Miffy, but I think I will. Because a workout on top of the way that I'm feeling at the moment, a workout is just going to absolutely blast my good feelings through the stratosphere. Until I inevitably get tired tonight and then I want to go to bed. But I'm um, feeling really, really good. And uh, look, at, I keep saying it, but if I can do it, you can do it. I mean, six, two months ago, I was sitting in a box, afraid of the world, unable to look at myself in the mirror, not taking care of my physical and mental health, drinking every single day, because that's all I knew. I'd been so clouded, I'd been so brainwashed into thinking that that was the best, that was the, that was the best life, that, that, was, that was all I was capable of, that's all I deserved, was a, was a life where I got my, my highs from drinking alcohol, from drinking a poison, and I'm sitting here two months later, and uh, just... Having turned things around slowly but surely. Last night I had a fantastic sleep. I mean to have a good sleep just changes everything. It changes everything. It was about six and a half or seven hours long. It wasn't the longest sleep. But it was good quality sleep. And that's what matters. Either way. I'm going to go and eat a, a miniature chocolate chip muffin. Uh, then I'm going to make a sandwich. Cheese. Chicken tomato and mayonnaise. I'm going to take that with me back to work. I'm going to enjoy it. I'm going to eat it as soon as I get back because I want it to digest prior to going to the gym. I need to go and get a garden bag. I need to get some garden gloves. I need to get a bucket and some sponges to clean the walls. And the list goes on and on. In fact, I've got a, I've got a list right there. Um, I won't bore you with that. But my message to you folks is that if I can do it, you can do it. It's a steady, step-by-step -step process. And the joys and the pride that you feel when you achieve things in life sober is just... unexplicably better than if you were to achieve and feel these things when you're drinking. Or when you're hungover. And the question is, do you actually feel them? No, you don't. You're numbing. You're numbing yourself. You're numbing yourself out. For a reason. It's because my life wasn't going anywhere. But now it is. So I've got more reasons, more positive reasons not to drink than I do negative reasons to drink. And that's that's what it comes down to, fundamentally. So thanks for listening as always. And I'll see you in the next video.